Hello, everybody. It's meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you as we head into our Saturday evening. The risk of severe weather is out there, and we already have a tornado warning out in parts of South Dakota. Storms are out west now, but there's more development expected here. Your full forecast and details and what's happening right now begins right now. A Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson, brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. I'm going to start with the important message, and that important message is the fact that we do have stout thunderstorms out there across the area today. And as such, some of these thunderstorms have already become severe out west. Development is expected to explode along the I-94 corridor here in central and eastern parts of North Dakota as well. Out there right now, we do have a tornado warning near the Buffalo, South Dakota area. We'll go over all this. Please keep this in mind. Uh, the atmosphere today has a lot of spin in it. It has a lot of energy with the humidity and this weather system working its way through. There'll be enough energy to create ginormous hail, which we have as an example of already, as well as tornadoes. We have our first warning already. So let's go over what's going on now. But if storms form in your area, know they could quickly become severe. Make sure you head over to Hutch'sWeather.com for the latest or any weather source of information where you are to make sure you know whether that storm is, uh, is severe or not. Then make sure you've reviewed your severe plan. As we have a thunderstorm, watch out to the west, and we'll see what happens here in the central and eastern part of the state. The development for us will be a little bit later. Let's get in a little bit closer to what's going on now on the radar. We'll begin with what's going on out in South Dakota where we have our first tornado warning. Uh, down in the Buffalo, South Dakota area, we do have a uh, tornado warning for Buffalo and parts of uh, northeast, uh, excuse me, northwest South Dakota right now. These storms working their way off to the east. They're moving at 39 miles per hour. It's a radar indicated tornado warning right now. And look at the maximum hail size, but folks, 2.75 inches. We're talking upwards of baseball size, and that's some huge hail out there. So uh, generally, it's moving along and north of areas on the 85 corridor, just north of Buffalo, South Dakota right now. This one, this storm, has a history of a funnel cloud earlier as it was south of Ekalaka, Montana. Ekalaka reporting two-inch diameter hail. We also had a report of two-and-a-half-inch diameter hail in the Bell Tower area in southeast Montana and Camp Crook, just a little bit to the north of there by 12 miles, 1.8 inch diameter hail. That's what's going on there. If you are in Mott, if you are in Bowman, we have a severe thunderstorm line making its way towards you. 70 mile per hour winds and one inch hail from that particular cell as we speak right now. And as we take a look to the north, we do have uh, up near Kildare, a thunderstorm that has a history of producing one inch diameter hail. Moving into areas of the North Park up there, south of Kildare, Halliday heading that, uh, through and across the highway corridor there north of Dickinson. So be, keep in mind, these storms are firing and our first storms are starting to develop here in the Red River Valley and the James River Valley, I should say, as well. You sent in a lot of photos today of a mackerel sky, these little jellyfish clouds, popcorn clouds up in the sky that are raining out. No meaning to those, folks. The main event is getting started, and you can feel the humidity in the air. So stay informed tonight. I'll be back with updates right here. I'm joining you from Minneapolis. Been enjoying the Back to the 50s car show today, and that continues through the weekend as well, as does the heat. A line of strong thunderstorms working their way through. Here is a look at the latest with regards to the watches and warnings in our area, and those would include the thunderstorm watch for the areas you see in yellow to include Mandan, Dickinson, and points south into northeast South Dakota. No watch yet issued for our area, but that risk for tornadoes remains. I'll keep you posted. You're watching Hutch's Weather. Head on over to Hutch'sWeather.com anytime, anywhere for the latest and please stay tuned and stay safe.